This episode of Joe Genius is brought to you by Squarespace and Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash genius for your free trial membership. Ah, the shenanigans you see on the net. Well, we get to the bottom of all this science right here on Joe Genius. Hey, everybody. Jonah Ray here. Welcome to Joe Genius, the show where backyard science goes big time. This episode is for the little Ed Bagley Jr. and all of us. That's right. We're going to go green. Gas, coal, petroleum, please. Those energy sources are so last century. Ask any vice president that isn't Dick Cheney, and he'll tell you clean renewable energy is where it's at. You know, Joe geniuses across the globe are creating homemade green ways to get around. Take the greens from Sacramento. And no, I'm not kidding. It's in their blood. This family is using science to take control of their transportation destiny. This three-wheeled electric car can go up to 30 miles an hour. It doesn't burn any fossil fuels and it has no emissions. But the Greens burn $1,300 to build it. It's made from old bicycle parts welded together to form this mini car. A bike turned into a car. That's the ultimate in recycling. According to the owner, it can go from zero to 25 miles per hour in just two seconds, making it the fastest electrical recycled bike part automobile that I'm aware of. Speaking of homemade electric cars, here's another kid that's going green. Well, at least he's crashing into it. Hey, let's put electrons to work. This cool go-kart even has an awesome name. This is Sparky, 18 amps each, uh, 12 volts. And then we have two lawnmower wheels and an axle. And then here's how we go. We call it Sparky, because when you take off, here's our contacts. When you take off, it sparks a little bit. And then our, under this is our brake, so when you pull back, it stops you. And I'll show you under it. See, there's our tire, which, which stops us. And then here, right here, is um, of the motor scooters, how we mounted it to here. And then... And this is the video we'll all look back on when this kid is ruling the world. All right, you might want to grab a helmet and some earplugs. This noisy bastard tops out at 60 miles per hour. And it's almost as irritating as watching Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Tires are smoking. <laughs> hey, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog or a portfolio or, you know, any kind of website. With block tools that allow for iPhone updating on the go, hassle-free importing of sites from other environments, robust stats, and much, much more, Squarespace makes it super easy for anyone to build out and maintain a site that you can only dream of with other platforms. And if you have coding experience, Squarespace allows you to delve into the code and customize things even further. Tens of thousands of people all across the internet have been using Squarespace for years, and their already great service is only getting better by the day. On July 14th, Squarespace announced a huge round of capital investment that will allow them to expand at an even faster rate. I just want to say that we're very stoked to be working with Squarespace because they're truly awesome people. Head over to squarespace.com to get a 14-day free trial and be sure to use the promotion code GENIUS when you're placing your order because you'll get 10% off the lifetime of your account. Our next green car is a lot like Superman. It gets its power straight from the Earth's yellow sun. I can see this thing in a science fiction movie. This is appropriately called the Pyramid Car. You'll find the compartments that hide our battery storage system right there. It's a single 12 horse electric motor. We got neon transformers. We got regular 12 volt batteries. Where we have quickly installed an electric heater. It is winter in Illinois. And uh, in about two minutes, it completely heats up the cab. Nice. That's actually some pretty cool green science going on. And for his planet-saving invention, we're going to give this backyard scientist the Joe Science Award. Thanks for saving our planet one pyramid car at a time, as I am sure you only have one of them. This next source of energy blows, but in a good way. I'm talking about wind. There's Timbo's homemade wind turbine.
All right, let's look into the science behind how these wind turbines work. Wind turbines use moving air to generate mechanical power, which can then be converted into electricity. These contraptions are pretty simple. As you can see, Timbo assembled his with recovered junk like an old wheelchair. The blades spin a rotor, which is attached to a shaft that connects to a special generator. And then blammo, that gives them electricity. Turbines mounted on towers can provide even more energy. The wind is faster and less turbulent up over 100 feet from the ground, so it's easier to capture there. And now, capturing the clean power of that big fiery ball in the sky, uh, the, the sun. As a lazy guy, I always thought riding a bike would be more fun if you didn't have to pedal. Apparently, this guy agrees. And check this out. This bike from India gets around town all on its own, as long as the sun's out. No need to fill up for this planet-saving truck. All you need is the sun. Ah, the ultimate irony, getting your solar panels washed at a gas station. The sun has more energy than I think the average guy can comprehend. I can comprehend it because I'm a genius. It's a fusion reaction that's nearly a million miles wide. Joe geniuses are converting all that energy into electricity, and here's how it works. These resourceful geniuses are taking advantage of the photoelectric effect, explained by Einstein over a century ago. Were you paying attention? The sun's light contains energy, and usually when light hits an object, that energy turns to heat. But when light hits certain materials like silicon, that energy turns into electric current, which can then be used for powering cars or running households. Sure, our genius's solar truck looks a little bit awkward, but it got her to work and she didn't even need a cent of gas to do it. All right, now it's time for some pedal power, making electricity with your own muscles. David Butcher wakes up every morning with one purpose, to generate homemade electricity in his backyard. We're about to fire up our laptop computer. So Zach has charged the main capacitor up to about 12 volts. Let's take a look. That looks pretty good to run our IBM ThinkPad laptop computer. That familiar chime. Ah, I think the biggest problem there was that he's running Windows XP. All right, let's see what else this guy could pedal up. 14 volts. 14 and a half and it's smoothie time. There we go. Cheers. Let's take a break from peddling to thank one of our sponsors, Netflix. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. And as a Netflix Unlimited member, like me, you can get DVDs by mail in one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies. You can stream them directly to your PC, Mac, or even right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or even the Nintendo Wii console. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free, and you can keep the movies as long as you like. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. And as a new member and Joe Genius viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go to netflix.com genius and sign up now. And be sure to use that URL so they know that we sent you and you seem totally radical. And it's time to award one of these green scientists with the Joe Genius Award. We've seen a lot of awesome planet-saving creations, but only one backyard scientist can be the bestest of the bestest. And the award goes to... Sparky the go-kart and his owner, Ryan. Congrats, guys. I'm sure that sweet ride is a babe magnet at the playground. And I didn't mean that in any kind of creepy way. So there you have it. There's no limit to the backyard fun to be had in the name of Joe Genius Science. That's it for the show today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jonah Ray saying, Mars isn't ready to live on yet, so don't f this planet up. Goodbye. Joe Genius is brought to you in part by the National Science Foundation.